हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर नंबर सेवन हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज द विंड मिल हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड दैट व्हाट इज द एंगल बिटवीन विंग्स ऑफ दिस विंड मिल व्हाट इज द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द विंग्स ऑफ दिस विंड मिल नो लेट अस चेक Okay, students. So, before starting the examples on Lamy's theorem, let us see first a definition of free body diagram. Now, what is free body diagram? You can see for a given body, if supports are removed and forces acting on the body and support reactions are shown, the diagram so obtained is known as free body diagram. Okay. what is given let us see in the figure this is the figure in which one sphere is given to you it is connected with the help of string at the wall this is the vertical wall okay this is the weight of the sphere acting vertically down from the center okay so now what happens actually this sphere is connected with the help of string so in the string there is a tension there is a tensile force which will act in the upward direction means what let us see this is the center of the sphere point c it is over here center of the sphere point c here is a string so tension will be acting in this direction towards fixed point always okay remember this thing towards fixed point always so from center c along the direction of the rope towards the fixed point tension t is acting now next if you pull this sphere in this direction and then left it then it will going back to this direction and collide with the wall so what happens wall will offer opposite reaction to it so this reaction is shown by this force r this is known as reaction okay and weight is obviously vertically down so this is known as free body diagram this is known as free body diagram in which at the center of the sphere only forces are drawn which forces weight of the sphere tension on the string and reaction of the wall remember three things first one is weight is always vertically down from the center tension is always acting in the rope but towards fixed point always okay towards fixed point from the center always and reaction of the wall is now listen reaction of the wall will starting from the contact point okay see this starting from the contact point and passing from the center of the sphere passing from the center of the sphere okay this is must reaction is always starting from the contact point and passing from the center of the sphere so these three rules are important first one is for the tension second one is for the weight and third one is for the reaction okay again repeating tension is always in the rope towards the fixed point second one weight is always vertically downward from the center third one reaction is always starting from the contact point and passing from the center of the sphere Okay, so this is the free body diagram. Now onwards, in each and every example, you have to draw this free body diagram. Let us see example number one. So this is the example one based on Lamy's theorem. What is given to you? Sphere having weight ten newton is hanged as shown in figure. Okay, so this is the same figure in which sphere having weight ten newton is hanging. Now find the tension in the rope and reaction of the wall. What we have to find? tension t in the rope and reaction r of the wall let us see this is the sphere this is the string and this is the 10 newton weight this is the vertical wall okay so again drawing the free body diagram c is the center of the sphere along the rope there will be the tension the reaction of the wall is starting from the contact point passing from the center of the sphere so this is the reaction r this is the tension t this is the reaction r and this is the vertical downward weight 10 newton 
now angles here it is first angle is given 30 degree where is 30 degree it is between the rope and wall so where is this 30 now imagine the angles this is the wall this is the sphere suppose I am intentionally drawing this figure this is the center of the sphere suppose and this is the string this is the reaction starting from contact point passing from the center R this is T now this angle is 30 degree now you must know that wall and sphere means circle they are tangent so tangent and radius is making 90 degree always okay so basically what happens you just concentrate basically what is happening this is a right angle triangle this is a right angle triangle in which this angle is 30 this angle is 90 so remaining angle is 60 so check out 60 where is the 60 so this angle is 60 degree between reaction and tension in the left side okay between the reaction and the tension left side angle is 60 degree okay hope you are clear with this so this is 60 so this angle is obviously 30 because total is 90 right side angle is also 90 lower angle is also 90 so now the angles are available to you okay so this is known as free body diagram now this sums are very tough it will need a very much practice okay solution what is the Lamis theorem? Remember the previous lecture in which theory tells us three forces are there T, R and 10. T means tension, R means reaction, 10 means weight. Now in the denominator you have to take opposite angles. Which are the opposite angles? So for the T force, see this is the T force. So opposite angle will be 90. So T divided by sine 90. Now second force is R. So this is R. So opposite angle will be angle between other two forces means angle between t to weight so total will be 60 plus 90 150 so sine 150 and last force is 10 means weight so this is the weight so where is the opposite angle angle between other two forces means this total angle so 90 plus 30 120 so 10 upon sine 120 now check out your Kelsey sine 90 means 1 sine 150 means 0 0.5 sine 120 means 0 0.866 so these three are the pairs now take first pair means compare first term with the last term and solve in your Kelsey you will get the answer of tension so this is the answer of tensile force 11.55 newton so it is very easy calculation most important thing is the figures only okay but calculation is very easy now take a second pair compare R with this term solve in your Kelsey so you will get R is equal to this 5.77 Newton so here is the solution of the example number 1 okay so T is 11.55 Newton and resultant is 5.77 Newton let us see one more example this is also an important example read the data first an electric lamp in the street is having 50 newton weight is suspended suspended by two wires okay so check out this this is the b point means bulb electric lamp it is suspended by two wires so this is the first wire ab and second wire cb so from these two wires bulb is suspended bulb is suspended from the ceiling so ac is the ceiling so from ac two wires were suspended and from these two wires one bulb is attached okay electric lamp is attached now check out the dimensions having weight 50 newton so bulb having weight 50 newton so vertically down weight is 50 newton okay next one two wires of 4 meter and 3 meter length so first wire is of 4 meter length second wire is of 3 meter length you can take alternate also left side 4 right side 3 nothing matters the horizontal distance between two fixed points horizontal distance between two fixed points a and c is 5 meter given to you 5 meter okay 
from which two wires were suspended. Find out, find out tension in both the wires. So where is the tension? From point B, first tension is going in this direction means towards fixed point. Second tension is going in this direction towards fixed point. So check out free body diagram. This is the bulb center B, electric lamp. So first tension is going in this direction T1. Second tension is going in this direction T2. Now, most important thing is the figures and angles. So let us imagine this is the dotted line passing from the bulb. The dotted line passing from the bulb center. So what happens? This is the Z formation. Okay, so this is the Z formation alternate angles are created. So these two angles are equal. These two angles are equal, which is given to you. It is theta 2. Check this theta 2. So dotted line Z formation. This angle is theta 2. Then this angle is also theta 2. Means this angle is theta 2. Now we have to calculate theta 2. So how we can calculate theta 2? See this. How we can calculate theta 2? So first of all, check out this triangle. It is the pair of Pythagoras. How? This side is 5 meter, this side is 3 meter, this side is 4 meter. So you can check Pythagoras theorem. What is 3 square? 9. What is 4 square? 16. 3 square 9, 4 square 16. So 9 plus 16, 25, which is equal to 5 square. Okay, so it is the pair of Pythagoras triplet. 5 square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. Okay, so it is a right angle triangle. This angle is 90 degree means opposite to the hypotenuse. This angle is 90 degree. So what is our target? Our target is to find is to find theta 2. So now from this triangle theta 2, check out this formula 10 theta 2. So what is 10? Opposite upon adjacent. So 10 theta 2 is equal to opposite 3 adjacent 4. So 3 by 4. 0.75. By doing 10 inverse theta 2 equal to 36.86. So this is our first angle theta 2. This angle is theta 2. So it is written over here 36.86. Clear? Similar method. Similar method. Draw again dotted line. Check out this Z formation. So this angle is theta 1. This angle is also theta 1. Similarly take 10 theta 1. Again opposite upon adjacent. So what is the opposite of theta 1? It is 4. Adjacent is 3. So 10 theta 1 opposite 4 adjacent 3 so 10 theta 1 equal to 4 by 3 1.333 so by doing 10 inverse theta 1 equal to 53.12 okay Pythagoras theorem so by this method we can calculate theta 1 and theta 2 which is written over here this angle is 90 itself as shown in figure now the same method simply applying Lamis theorem for three forces t1 T2 and 50. So what is the opposite angle of T1? This is T1. So opposite angle will be in between other two angles from this to this. So 90 plus 36.86. It is 126.86. For T2 angle is between T1 and weight means 51 point something plus 90. 53 point something plus 90. It is 143.12. Now next angle is 50, opposite angle is 90, so 50 upon sine 90. Now check out the value, sine 126 will be this, sine 143 will be this, sine 90 will be 1. Compare turn by turn, so first of all compare T1 with last term and solve in your KLC, you will get T1 equal to around 40 Newton. Compare second term with the last term, you will get T2 is equal to around 30 Newton. Okay, so calculation is very easy, but the most important thing is the logical thing is how you will find the angles in the free body diagram. Okay, so this is the logic behind the Lamis theorem. You can use this formulas, this sums in your day by day practice, like in this, like in this, it is electric bulb given to you. Windmills, okay, you have to find angles of the wings. Certain conditions are arising in the day by day life in which you have to find the angles carefully and arrange the components exactly according to that. We will see some more top sums during the next lecture. Till that, wait and watch. Thank you.